What's going on guys, Commander here, and welcome to a new video where I'm basically going to be doing another computer talk. Now, very much like the last video, I'm just basically, I'm going to be doing a talk on computer building and how hard it actually is. Now, last episode, I'm going, I did a video on, um, how to choose your computer parts and what I would recommend you do or how you would choose what you're going to do and how you're going to pick it. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is talking about the stigma that is attached to people when or attached to the actual thing of building computers and how hard it actually is now when you ask different people how hard they think building a computer is you get a mixed up amount, number and amount of responses those who think that building a pc is like building a car where you need someone with a world of qualifications in order to do it then you have the other group of people who think that you could they could do it with their eyes shut me, for example, when I started uh, my interest in computers and how they worked, I thought that building a PC was impossible for me to do, because there's so many parts that should go in certain places and the slightest wrong move could break the whole thing, and then I would have just wasted hundreds of pounds on a new system only for it to break. However, when I got around to building my first system, although it didn't all go to plan because my power supply blew up, it went rather well, and now I feel like I can do it in my sleep. So does that mean it's mind over matter and there are no risks with it and so anyone could do it with their eyes shut? Not entirely. You still have the risks that are involved with building a new system. Mu um, such as shocking your computer with static electricity or breaking one of the components by using too much force. Not that it's something that's likely to happen because it takes a lot to break a component from force and most motherboards nowadays are being made um, with an anti-static system in them to prevent damage from electric shock. Having said that though, CPUs for example, um, because of how you place them into the socket on your motherboard, you need to be especially careful with static. You need to be careful of the pins as well. Now more newer CPUs don't have pins on them, but have these things called contact pads. This means that the pins are actually on the motherboard, which is good because there's way, more cha way less chance of you bending a pin on your motherboard than actually on when handling your CPU. Unfortunately, the CPUs don't have an anti-static system inbuilt with them, so you have to be careful how you handle them. The trick is not to touch any of the gold bits on your CPU, because that is a bit that um, will break if you static it. Although it's not entirely safe, however, as if you put the CPU in wrong, it may still bend the pins on your motherboard and you will break your motherboard altogether. Also, because of how close you're getting to your motherboard when installing this, you need to be extra, extra careful with static as well. GPUs and RAM, for example, tend to have some plastic casing around the critical component so that it's handling it normally it won't break it because of electric shock because the casing is um, static proof. On topic of GPUs and RAM, unlike CPUs, um, they're not very hard to install. They only tend to go in one way and they will not go in a way they're not supposed to. For example, GPUs, they have a slot known as the PCIe slot. Um, and they, the front, the I.O. on one side where all of your video ports are, should go to the back of your case. So, again, it's relatively straightforward in how you put it in. Storage drives are another thing that's very easy to install. Most of them just have a bay that they slide into, and um, which the, are the 3.5 inch ones, are just the ones you slot into the bay, which are your standard, like, bulky hard drives. Then you have your 2.5 inch ones, which don't slot into those bays, but they screw onto a, um, a like a plate on your, um, on your system inside your case somewhere. But again, it's not too hard to get in, to, um, put in, and there isn't any risk of static, because the casings are static proof anyway. PSUs or power supplies are the cause of what people class as the hardest part of putting a PC together, the cabling. Not to say it's hard, but especially when you get into your I.O. plugs and the HD audio plug, if they don't go into the correct socket, and they can go into the wrong socket, so there's nothing to stop them from going into the wrong socket, they will blow up and break your PC. Most of, most of the other cables, however, only have one port they can go into, like USB 3.0 cable or the motherboard power cable. These are one and only in the power supply and cannot be plugged into anywhere they're not supposed to go. Um, which makes life a lot easier when trying to cable up your system. But if, you, but having said that though, when um, 
if you are confused, they, they look at the manual inside your motherboard and from your uh, power supply and match it up to know where your power um, your power cables for various different things should go. But with that said, anyone who tries to put a PC together without foreknowledge on how to do so is more likely to do something wrong than someone who's been building PCs for many years and knows what they're doing. Does it then mean that his opinion is formed by ignorance of the subject? Kind of. A lot of opinions about building computers are from what people who don't use computers on a regular basis, or if they do, are not particularly interested in how they work. So of course they would have this opinion of building PCs, because by saying I don't know how to do something, or it's too hard, they're basically saying they're not interested in it. Think about it in another way. If you're not interested in learning something in school, instead of saying that you're not interested in it, you say I don't know how to do it, or it's hard, as a way of trying to get out of it. The same works here. Most people who say they cannot build a PC because it's too hard are often people who don't have any interest in the subject. Saying that though, there are many people who say they cannot do something despite having key interest in the subject that they claim they cannot do. Me for example, I've said in previous videos that I do not touch custom water cooling in my own PC with a barge pole. Now this doesn't mean that I wouldn't buy an old computer just to test it out and learn how to do it, but a computer that I use almost every day isn't worth the risk. This isn't because I don't have any interest in water cooling loops, it's because I feel the risks involved in doing so are not worth the results I get if all goes well. So that means it's ignorance of the subject plus not wanting to do it with the fear of doing something wrong. <clears throat> By saying that you don't want to do something because you think it will go horribly wrong is the, f is the fear of getting it wrong, but not wanting to learn is an ignorance of the subject in question. I've always said I can easily teach someone how to build a PC and get them to do it confidently after building a few PCs with help and then have them do it on their own. Saying that though, if I'm teaching someone who's not interested in the subject, then it will take longer because people um, that I'm teaching, if they've not any, got any interest in the subject, the information will not be going in. So is building a computer as hard as people claim it is, or is it just people who are not interested in, this, in it spreading around that it's more, there's more in it that can go wrong when this is not the case? Sort of. Building a PC, in my opinion, is not very hard. Most components go in one way, and there are lots of guidelines to ensure you can do it correctly and don't muck anything up. Most components like the GPU or the RAM only go in one way, like I've said before, so you don't have to worry about putting those in wrong. Motherboards, are the, are, for the most part, depending on your case, go in portraits with the CPU socket on the top. Hard drives and SSDs, like I mentioned, uh, mentioned before, often have a slot that they just slide in, and and or um, screws that you can screw into your case in some place. And they ought to install them. You only have two cables with them, which is the SATA data cable and the SATA um, and the SATA power cable. Both only go in one way. So there's no need to worry worry about uh, worry about cabling those up. And power supplies have their own dedicated slotting cases anyway, as far as installing them, so you cannot put that in the wrong place. CPUs, like I've said before, the only thing you need to worry about, but so long as you line up the yellow triangle on the CPU with the triangle on your motherboard, it will work out fine. So, is it hard to build a computer? No. Are there too many people thinking it's harder than it actually is, which deters people from having a go? Of course. Just like there is for anything. But the more people who have a go at building a computer, even if they don't do it again just so they, ha they have a go, the more people hopefully don't think it's as hard as it actually is. Will things always go swimmingly for people? No. Will there always be people who eventually make a mistake and break the computer they're trying to build? Of course there will. It happens to the best of people. Hell, you even see YouTubers who run technology channels who have been do who have their own water cooling loops leak, and they do it for a job, so of course it's gonna go wrong. It would be boring if it didn't. But we learn from those mistakes. It's something that makes us human and happens in every walk of life. Mistakes is what teach us what not to do and, when, and what to do when we come to do it again. Some people will make one mistake and be perfectly fine every single time after. Others will make multiple mistakes before getting it right. But it's okay because you learn. the more you learn what not to do, the more you know what not to do when you come to do it again. So overall, I think building a PC is not hard. Like everything, you just need practice, and most people won't get it right the first time. That's why games like PC Building Simulator are a thing. 
a thing or videos of people building PCs on YouTube are a thing. It's to show you someone doing it for doing it first before, have, before having to do it yourself, so you know how to do it. So my advice to anyone who's building um, a new system who's never done it before: buy a PC building simulator. It's only 15 quid on Steam. Um, just to get a feel of how building PCs work and the basics of like how it's going to work and where each thing goes. Not that I would say um, going on and using only PC Building Simulator to um, facilitate your knowledge on how to build PCs because it isn't the most accurate thing out there. But feel free to use it because it's a virtual world where if something goes wrong it doesn't matter. I still use that game for trial and error programs for things that I wish to do with my own system and if I use it, there's no problem with somebody else you, um, who's new to the idea doing this so as well. Hell, I even use PC Building Simulator as a um, as a tech as a um, tech system when I when my PC went wrong. I just uh, it, and it turned out that one of my cables wasn't plugged in. So when I as replicated in my own system in PC Building Simulator and taken out that specific cable, I then learned that that was the reason why it wouldn't work. Also, have a go through YouTube, um, YouTube at people building PCs to actually so solidify your knowledge on what to do. But don't go these uh, go with these over the top ones with the latest hardware. Go for ones who make budget builds, as I will show you the basics of PC building with the most detailed way possible. So, having said all that, that's about all I have time for in this um, video here. I really do enjoy doing these videos. They are. I'm not. I don't. At this point, I really don't like. I'm not particularly interested in how many people watch it, but how many people find this interesting. It's just really interesting for me just to go on like a like a tangent about people about building about computers and whatnot. I find it really really interesting. Um, if you find it interesting, tell me what different ones you want me to do, and I'll have and I'll have a go. Because all of this is literally just scripted to the point of no return. These are sort of the only videos that I go with scripted, and as you can see, because I can't read properly, um, this is the reason why I don't script things. But anyway. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome um, gaming video talk content. And I shall see you all later. Bye!